Welcome back to Industry Talk. Now Meg Major continues her conversation with Bill Shaner, President and CEO of Save-A-Lot Food Stores. In terms of local marketing, is there any other markets or product lines that you think are uniquely Save-A-Lot? Well, I think uh, what's really unique to us, Meg, is just our ability to deliver value. It's our ability to deliver savings made easy, what we might have said, are just great quality food at great prices. It's really what differentiates us, and it's not so much market specific. Uh, we have stores from um, the tip of Maine all the way to Southern California, literally coast to coast and border to border, and we serve all different customer bases uh, of all different demographics, all different ethnicities. Uh, the, the one uh, common denominator in all of our customers is, is they're looking to save money, and they're looking for great quality products, and that really, I think, is what sets us apart in the marketplace. Thinking about the other opportunities of growth for Save a Lot, what also uh, can you tell us about what's next in the pipeline? Well, we've got uh, very exciting growth plans, Meg. We think right now we're perfectly positioned in today's marketplaces. Uh, people are, as we know, looking for value more than ever before, and that's exactly who we are and exactly what we do. I mean, we're we're Save a Lot food stores, so it's it's really all in the name in, in doing that. So. Uh, we're taking advantage of this, we think, and we've got very aggressive growth plans. We've got uh, almost 1,300 stores today and have plans to double the size of our company over the next five years. And we're really coast to coast and border to border as we do this. Uh, we'll continue to backfill in our existing markets, but we're also looking at new markets where we can provide those same values uh, in new markets across the country. So we're very jazzed about our opportunity, really think we've got the ability to grow our company aggressively. In terms of that growth, I would imagine some of that would come from uh, some of the Save-A-Lot operators. Please describe for me, if you could, what you would consider to be the requisite characteristics of a highly successful independent grocer. That's a great question, uh, Meg. I think, uh, boy, we've got all different types of entrepreneurs in our system, and we're, you know, we love them all uh, th the same. I would say there's a couple uh, of, of common denominators, though, that, that they all share, and, and the first is a passion for the business. Uh, I think the successful entrepreneur that owns and operates a Save-A-Lot store you know, they get up every morning saying, boy, this is just a great day to go and, and do the right thing for our stores and for the communities that we serve. I think they love the business. It, those of us that are in retailing, I think we all get that. I mean, it gets in our blood. And I think the save lot entrepreneur that's successful has got that uh, in their blood. And I also think you need a degree of business acumen. Uh, it's interesting. We've got uh, great entrepreneurs and great retailers, but uh, they really do need to understand the, the, just the basics of cash flow operation and managing their business successfully, and we're very able to help them with that. We've got great training programs and great people that work with our retailers to help them uh, be successful as well. And last, but uh, probably most important, you've got to like people. And you've got to be, you know, respectful of people, uh, your associate base that you have in your stores and your customer base. I think uh, it'd be hard to be a great retailer without really being a people person as well. Next question would, would delve into um, opportunities for Save-A-Lot suppliers and what you would consider the greatest ones to be. Uh, well, we uh, have very good partnerships and relationships with uh, the vast majority of our suppliers. Uh, we're very dependent on them delivering us the, the lowest possible cost and the best uh, possible quality, and we work very closely with them to, to try to achieve that. I think one of the things that I would ask for our suppliers is to, to bring their new ideas to us. You know, we want to keep contemporary, we want to keep fresh, we want to be locally relevant, we want to make sure that we've got, within our 1,800 items we have in our stores, that we've got the most successful assortment that's very germane and relevant to our customers. It really helps us uh, be different. So, you know, don't just keep selling us what you've always sold us. Bring us something new. Bring us your new, your new exciting items and let us, uh, let us try them in our Save-A-Lot stores as well. Bill, thank you so much for your time and insights today. It's been a real pleasure being here with you and all the best to you in 2011. Thank you.